Too many Christians don't understand the importance of forgiving others who have done the wrong. So let me break it down and explain it to you. There is a prayer that Jesus said that we should be saying every day. That's uh, what we refer to as the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer includes us uh, asking God to forgive us of our sins, of our wrongdoing, as we forgive those who did us wrong. We can find this in the book of Matthew and the book of Luke. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, this is the New Living Translation. It states, and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And Luke chapter 11, verse 4a states, this is a KJV, and forgive us our sins for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. So that means, it here the scripture saying, Lord God, we ask God to, we going for God, asking God to forgive us of, us of our sins and we're saying that we have forgiven those who have done us wrong. Uh, we so used to the Matthew chapter six verse twelve, the translation uh, uh, of a uh, New International Version of it, and many other versions put it this way: "And forgive us our debts, as we also forget have forgiven our debtors." Let me read it again: "And forgive us our debts." as we also have forgiven our debtors. So here, when we say that, many times, we don't think about what is the meaning of debt and debtors. But what does that actually mean? You could just so, be so used to saying this daily prayer that you really don't give thought into what it actually means. You have to give thought into what it actually means. You have to be sincere when you say this. You have to understand that in order for you to be, get, to be forgiven of your sins, you have to forgive others who have done you wrong. And the word of God shows us this. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 15, it states, But if you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive the wrongs you have done. So in order for you to be forgiven of your sins, you have to forgive those who done you wrong. Ephesians Chapter uh, four, chapter four, verse thirty-one. This is amplified Bible states: Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and uh, clamor, which talking about uh, uh, resentment and slander, be put away from you, along with every kind of malice. And malice talking about verbal abuse, uh, spitefulness. And uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two goes on to say, and this I'm gonna read the New Living Translation for it. It says. Instead, be kind to each other and tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. So the word of God makes it very clear. In order for you to receive forgiveness of the wrong, thing, wrong things you have done to others and to God, you need to forgive those who have done you wrong. 